Samantha. So today I'm doing another unhaul video. I've been thinking about it and how I need to get rid of more books. I have 15 books today to show you that I'm getting rid of, which I'm quite happy with because originally I was only getting rid of like four and then I was like, no, I'm gonna have another look at my shelf and see what I can part with. And I'm perfectly happy parting with all of these books. Enough prefacing. So the first book that I'm going to be getting rid of is The Girl's Book of Glamour, A Guide to Being a Goddess because this book is really meant for like younger girls. So yes, I'm getting rid of this one. The next book that I'm getting rid of is one that I read in November of last year and that is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. It wasn't the worst thing I've ever read, but it was a really slow read and it definitely wasn't my favorite thing in the world. It definitely wasn't the worst thing I read in the world, but it definitely wasn't my favorite thing and I won't ever be rereading it. So I was going to hold on to it so that, you know, if I ever have to mention it in a video, I will have it handy. But you know, that is what the internet is for. It's just Google a picture of the cover. On that same theme, the next two books that I'm getting rid of are New Moon and Eclipse by Stephanie Meyer. I bought these books right after finishing Twilight and I bought them used. They were one pound each. So I really don't care about getting rid of these because they didn't cost me a lot of money. They're both pretty ginormous and I know how slow Stephanie Meyer's writing is for me. For some reason, I just can't get through her books because I find the writing to be really boring. The next book that I'm getting rid of is one that I got for booktube tours and that is Deception Island by Bryn Kelly. This was actually the first ever book that I received from a publisher, which was really exciting. And I'll forever be grateful to this book and to booktube tours for having that experience. However, this book just was not for me. It is a romantic thriller book and I didn't really realize that that genre wasn't really for me until reading this book. This just wasn't my thing. But if you want to see a full review of this book to find out everything about it, I'll link it down below. I only gave it like a 2.5 stars. So like, it's not like I hated the book. I definitely didn't hate it. It just wasn't for me. You might want to check out the review and see if it might be for you. But yes, that is why I'm getting rid of this one. So the next two books that I'm getting rid of, I should have gotten rid of a long time ago just because I'm never going to reread them. And those two books are Insurgent and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. So I'm getting rid of these two books, but I'm not actually getting rid of Divergent because I actually really enjoyed the Divergent book. The Divergent book is something that really helped me get back into reading when I started like reading properly again in 2014. And I read this right after I read The Hunger Games, so I was in like such a dystopian kick. And I loved Divergent, but I read Insurgent and I was like, okay, well, this was not very good in comparison. There was just a lot of information in this one and it was a bit long and boring. And then I read Allegiant and this one I just really didn't like very much at all. So I don't think I'm ever going to be rereading these books. They're both ginormous. They take up too much space on my shelf. The next book that I'm getting rid of is a book that I got from a friend for Christmas a few years ago, and that is Life of Pi by Jan Martel. I didn't really have any interest in reading this book. It was obviously given to me, and for that reason, I felt it necessary to hold on to it for a while, thinking that maybe I'd read it someday because it was given to me. But I just don't feel interested in reading it, and I've read some of the reviews on Goodreads, and there are many, many good reviews. However, there are also quite a few bad reviews for this book, and everyone says it's very spiritual, and I'm not a religious person whatsoever. I don't think that's going to be something that I can relate to at all so I've decided that I'm going to be getting rid of this one. The next book that I'm getting rid of is one that I haven't read yet and I have two copies of this book so that's why I'm getting rid of it. I'm getting rid of Beauty Queens by Little Bray because my first copy that arrived which is this copy they messed it up in the printing somehow and they didn't catch it before selling it on so it goes from page 60 back to page 30 again so it repeated 30 pages of the book so obviously I couldn't read from this copy so there's literally no point in me keeping it whatsoever and also no point in giving it away because nobody's gonna want to read a messed up book so uh, this one's just gonna get recycled. The next book that I'm getting rid of is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Ellery Sons. I read this book in September of 2014 for Book Hunters, which was my old book club that I was in. It was not my favorite thing in the world at all. I think I gave it like a three out of five stars or something like that. I did think that I was going to reread this at one point, but I've just decided like I don't have enough time in my life to be rereading books that I didn't love the first time, so I'm going to be getting rid of this one as well. The next book that I'm getting rid of is Lying Out Loud by Cody Keplinger. This is a sort of companion sequel sort of thing to The Duff, and I really really enjoyed the stuff so I thought I was gonna love this but it was not my thing really. I have a review of it so if you want to go and see what this book is all about I'll link that down below. I only gave this book like a 2.5 out of 5 stars and I'm never gonna reread it so I've decided to get rid of this and my friend Yasmin wanted it so it is going to a good home. The next book that I'm getting rid of is Let It Snow by John Green, Maureen Johnson and Lauren Miracle. It just really wasn't my thing. I was gonna hold on to it because one it looks nice so I could you know at Christmas time put it out but at the same time I much prefer watching Christmas movies because I haven't found a Christmas book that I love yet so there's just no point in me holding on to this. That's also going to my friend Yasmin. The next book that I'm getting rid of is Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. It just really wasn't my thing. This book was okay but I'm never going to reread it especially because I already know the ending now but I basically already knew the ending going into it because if everybody tells you oh it's such a sad book then as soon as you know what the premise is you're like oh I see how that's gonna end. Like I just feel like I was majorly spoiled for this book even though no one said it directly so I just didn't enjoy it very much. I only get like 3.5 out of 5 stars so I'm getting rid of 
of it. This one's also good to my friend Yasmin. The next book that I'm getting rid of is Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. But I finally decided that I'm never going to read this book. I bought this book in January of 2014 and not once have I thought since then that I was going to pick it up at some point. I see it on my shelf and I never think, oh, I'm going to read that next. There's always another book that I want to read before it. This one's just not one that I'm ever going to be picking up. So I will be getting rid of this one as well. The final book that I'm getting rid of is The Second Summer of the Sisterhood by Anne Brashers. This is the sequel to The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. And I love that first book in the series. I've read that book three times and I've enjoyed it every single time. But that book ends in a place where you don't need the rest of the books in the series. I've never actually continued on from that point. I started reading this book last year and I just couldn't get into it. And then this summer I thought, okay, I'll read it this summer and just never got around to it. So I'm just gonna get rid of it because I just don't think I'm going to. I mean, I do love the characters. The story wasn't for me when I tried to read it a year ago. So I don't think it's gonna be any better this year. So these are all, oh, oh, shit, nailed it. So these are all the books that I'm getting rid of. You probably can't see the two piles unless I'm standing up. So I'm just gonna put them down because they're hurting me. I feel really happy that I'm getting rid of these books because one, it makes room for more books. And two, it's good to have a clear out of things that I'm never gonna read because it just makes my life less stressful getting rid of some of those unread books that I'm never gonna read. Anyway, that is going to be all for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe down below and I'll see you next Thursday with a new video. Bye. Mm -hmm.